I don't see myself as extremely handsome. I just figure I can charm you into liking me. I think of myself as a young prince from a long line of royalty. I've come to the conclusion that beautiful women in the West aren't comfortable finding strength in their femininity. They want to do masculine-oriented things to establish their femininity. It's a contradiction. My mother was pretty much on my case all the time. No one can train you to be famous. How do you deal with the loss of anonymity, the loss of privacy? You have to be disciplined. I used to do puppet theater and also mime and musical theater in Florida for competitions and festivals, which was great. I was very much involved in theater when I was in college. I think I have kind of a natural magnetism. If a woman decides she likes me, it would behoove her to take into consideration that my art has had a strong influence on the type of person I am. I've been a law-abiding citizen ever since I grew up in the Bronx, New York. I was never charged with tax evasion. I've never been a tax protester. I had acne late, in college. My skin used to be really flawless. Went to college, became a vegetarian, ate a lot of cheese, big mistake. Here I am trying to be healthy, and I'm eating grilled cheese sandwiches, and French fries every day, having mad eruptions all over my face. I like to read about different religions, Judaism, Islam, Christianity, Hinduism, and Buddhism. I was convicted of three misdemeanors of willful failure to file a form. I've always been paying my taxes, and I've always been trying to comply. I've been trying to keep the private life private. Not being savvy or trained on how to do good interviews like a politician, I thought it was wiser to follow my mother's advice. If you have nothing good to say, don't say anything at all. Certain roles are more challenging than others, but I haven't come across one yet that I can't tackle. I've reduced a lot of the stress in my life. I've gotten rid of a lot of things. The light was turned on and a lot of the cockroaches started spinning. I swept them out the door. And sometimes you just have to throw things out because they carry a certain energy. I grew up in the Bronx. The Bronx teaches you to survive. It's like, bring it on. I have a whole other side that has yet to be seen on screen. Lot of the scripts I've been in with other non-white actors haven't been great. Lot of non-white actors ain't all that great. I never really planned on making action films. It just kind of happened. So don't send me up the river yet. I didn't defraud the government by taking money that was not mine. I come out of repertory theater, so I've been working under pressure my whole career. There is a bit of arrogance with Hollywood types that doesn't sit well with game developers. Personally, I find there is just as much if not more creativity among game makers as there is among feature filmmakers. There are so few guys who do action and do it well. Even fewer who are African American. Even fewer who have classical theater training. So a cat like me coming in, I'm bringing all of that to an action movie.
We're conditioned in this country to believe that if there's a problem, the black man is usually the culprit. Internationally, I have as large of a fan base if not larger than I have domestically. I think any man would be nervous if his liberty is at stake. I have some cops in my family. I understand the predicament that they're in. Sometimes they go into it just to pay the bills or because they don't have other choices or sometimes they just want to get the gun. I didn't go into this business to do action because I'm a classically trained actor, but I'm good at kicking and punching. We should be able to go to our government and get clear answers. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to be an African American in America. I've had some interesting experiences, some great, some not so great, but I love it here. My sign is Leo. A Leo has to walk with pride. When he takes a step, he has to put his foot down. You walk into a room and you want people to know your presence without you doing anything. The first time I jumped from a plane, I screamed like a woman. I was two miles up and you could hear me clear as day. Now I love it. I like science fiction and physics, things like that. Planets being sucked into black holes and the various vortexes that create possibility and what happens on the other side of the black hole. To me, it's the microcosmic study of the macrocosmic universe in man, and that's why I'm attracted to it. Nobody wants to get locked up, although locked up is a matter of perspective. There can be people who are out who are in prison mentally and emotionally and worse off than those who are behind bars. I was very short when I was little, so I probably had and there may be a residue of it now that Napoleon complex, wanting to be as big and as powerful as the big guys. A lot of people now don't know I've been on Broadway. I mainly buy books in my free time. I love being a dad. It keeps me fit and inspired and children are so funny. They always supply you with acting material. I think that all of us, as Americans, are due due process and have a right to a fair trial and have a right to be considered innocent until proven guilty. I think that is the American way and it's the foundation upon which this country was built. Well, I'm an artist to the core, and my objective has always been to use my talents and my skills to elevate humanity through my art. I had faith in the concept and the theory that all Americans are endowed with the right to a fair trial and I would be fairly judged and fairly tried. I'm a good mimic. A lot of the cats I grew up with in the South Bronx found themselves in sticky situations. I'm a physical type of actor and love projects in which I can get physical. The more action, the better. I'm not looking at an action movie as something where I just jump around and look beautiful and show my muscles. Since there are so few people that do this and have that pedigree, people disregard their contribution.